My name is Lei Zheng. I'm an artist, and recently I got this new amazing job drawing pictures of balloons. Everybody knows about these ordinary balloons, which could be spherical or tubular. But did you know there are actually two families of balloons? The other family is called the torus balloon. A torus balloon, it's like a regular balloon, but it has a hole that goes all the way through. Like an inner canal. A double torus is a balloon in a balloon, and it also has an inner canal that goes through the one in the middle. Here's an example of a torus balloon. The manufacturers call them the Chinese water snake or the water wiggly. These torus balloons behave in really strange ways. It can crawl like a tank. What's happening is like turning a sleeve inside out. The tube on the outside is too big to squeeze through, so it shrivels into a beautiful symmetrical star shape, as you can see here. A cross section would look like this. It's like a sheriff's batch with tiny tubes at the tips. You can see in this diagram that everything from peppers to oranges and lemons and tomatoes have the similar shape. If you let a torus balloon swallow a nucleus, you'll get a model of a living egg cell. And if you squeeze it really hard, you can get a flower. Flowers get their shape from the expansion of the embryo cell, a torus balloon with a star-shaped cross-section. What happens is that the inside expands faster than the outside, causing it to bulge out the bottom and top. This makes the ovary and then the fruit at the bottom and the petals out the top. Meanwhile, squeezed tight in the middle is the star pattern tightly compressed. When it pops open, the anthers emerge and split open covered with pollen. Their backs are attached lightly to the needle point, left over when the tubules pull apart as the petals emerge. The other half of the needle point is the pointy tip of the petal. Other things can happen with a torus balloon. The vertebrate body is what happens when you rotate a segmented torus balloon with a taunt cord running through its middle. The cord makes a ferrule in the back, crushing the ribs at the midline, wraps around twice, making the spine. At the same time, at the other end, the cord pulls the ribs upward and makes limbs pop out. A torus balloon is a streaming balloon. The lines can travel from the outside to the inside. And this must be the origin of the acupuncture meridian lines. Can you make everything with a double torus balloon? Yes. Is this how nature makes life? Well, it could be. Nature only knows how to make one thing. Bubbles. If a bubble grow inside a bubble, it will grow in certain ways. And these are the ways that make different forms of life. If you find this hard to believe, ask your biology teacher, because behind this is a new important theory of evolution called self-organization. And I'll be back with more balloon talk. For more information, check out on theoriginofform.com.